moving on to a, another subject, which is computer security. So first of all, there's, there's no such thing as perfect security. This is an idea that Craig has been talking about since the 1990s. Security is always and everywhere economic. There's just no such thing. There's no way to make it impossible to break into a system. What you want to do is rather than make it impossible, you make it impractical. You make it too costly to break in for the gain that you get from, from attacking the system. So it's economic. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cost benefit thing. You want to make it such that it's so expensive to attack a system that it's not worthwhile, that what you get out of attacking it uh, doesn't make it worth the cost. And that's exactly how Bitcoin works and how everything about Bitcoin works. Um, so it's an economic system. It's economic security is what it is. Um, quantum computers are, are another subject that comes up a lot. Um, th th there isn't a threat to Bitcoin from quantum computers. First of all, because quantum computers are uh, uh, commercially impractical now and well into the future. It's going to be quite some time before you have practical quantum computers. But bear in mind that even if you have a commercially viable quantum computer, what they do is they can crack public keys, but they can't crack the hash function. So just don't show the public key. The, the public keys are not shown publicly on the blockchain. And when they are, what you want to do is just keep the value in each output small enough such that even if it were cracked, it's not worth the cost of cracking. So once again, it becomes uh, economic security. Just keep the value low enough that the cost of using a quantum computer to attack it is higher than the value that they get from cracking that key. And so you can keep them hidden when they're simply sitting on the blockchain. And then when you go to spend it, you have to reveal it, but you can reveal it for only a small amount of value. So don't store huge amounts of value in a single address. Distribute the value. And so what you should do is when you send and receive these Bitcoin transactions, keep them in small outputs. So if you follow best practices, it's, it's incredibly challenging to attack Bitcoin. And so the best practices are don't merge outputs and don't reuse keys. And if you do this, it's secure now and it's secure very, very far into the future because even with quantum computers, it's still impractical uh, to crack uh, anything about Bitcoin.